Hey guys, this is Signal Juno and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade your Samsung Galaxy Note 8 or any devices to Android Oreo or any older version. All you got to do is to follow up the video and make sure your battery life is at least 80% or 70 and now let us begin. So the first step is you have to go to sammobile.com. The link is going to be on the description. Just go to firmware and then put your model number and then you should download the SOC ROM from your specific region. So let me just do that very quick. So click your country. And now here you have options to pick the older version. So this is Android One UI and then this is Oreo. So all you gotta do is to click on it, make sure you log in in order to download it. And it may take half of a day because of the, um, the bandwidth limit. However, if you buy the premium, then you can download it very quick in less than an hour or so. Now, once that is done, you will have the SOC ROM. Make sure you extract that and Odin, the link is gonna be in the description as well as Smart Switch. Now, what you gotta do is, is to launch smart switch and install the following software so once you have installed smart switch just launch it and then what you got to do is you have these options resort and backup but click on more and then preferences click on software updates and make sure you uncheck these both options so you don't want a pre-installed android one UI on your device once again. Now click on backup and let the computer and your phone do its job. It may take a while, but afterwards we'll show you the next step. So once your phone has been backed up entirely, you can check up from your place where your phone has been backed up and you can make sure that if there's any failures you can just go to your phone and then drag it over so once that is done just press ok close smart switch and extract these two files so one of them is going to be your SOCROM make sure it matches your model number and region which I've showed earlier then you should have Odin as well now once you have extracted you have these two files so the first step is to open up Odin Now what you have to do is, is to press on BL and locate your SOC ROM. So in my case I kept it on desktop so right here and then you can see right here BL so just click on it and do this following procedure for the following AP. So AP this one may take two to three minutes so just bear with me. Click on CP. And now this is a very important step for CSC. You might have two files. So one is going to be CSC underscore OMC and other is going to be home underscore CSC. Now this one here, this one will retain your data so nothing will be formatted. However, this one right here, CSC underscore OMC will format your phone to give you the optimal performance and battery life. And the one which I recommend is this one since we already backed up the data using the smart switch so just click on it so on your phone go to settings and then go to developer option and check OEM unlocking if you don't see that option then it is by default enabled so once you do that it will ask you to format your phone so it is very normal just click turn on it was one of the worst feature from Android Pi so this will be my last time using it so just put your password right there. Now in order to go to the download mode, what you have to do is, is to first shut down your phone just like so. Now once that is done, just use your USB cable and make sure you hold Bixby button and volume down button and power button simultaneously. So just like that. and you are on the download mode. Now press start and leave your phone alone.
Now close Odin, set up your phone. So once you have set up your phone, what you got to do is, is to connect your phone using a USB cable. And now on your device, make sure you allow the permission. And then on your computer, launch Smart Switch. Now on your device, press open smart switch to allow the permissions or whatnot. Now what you have to do is, is to click on restore. And then you can click on select your backup data. You can pick the ones which you want. So in my case, I want everything to be backed and restored to my device. So press OK and you can also update. In my case, I don't want to update to Android Pie because there's no split screen and there's pro modes removed from video, which I really don't want to update. So I'll just press restore now. As you can see right now, I'm on Android Oreo and there, and all of my data has been restored. So I can't just show you much, but you can see all of my applications are back, even my WhatsApp data and everything else. So anyways, guys, that's basically it. If you liked, like, subscribe if you haven't so and see you guys the next one. Peace.